By now, everyone knows that Dollar Shave Club ships amazing razors for a few bucks. Tim's been a member for a while, and he loves the shave, and I love the way he looks. What you might not know is that Dollar Shave Club also has products for pretty much everything else you need in the bathroom. Body wash, hair gel, everything. And just like the razors, everything is super high quality and left Tim looking so good, I violated my marriage vows. If you're like Tim, obsessed with Crash Manicute and sick of the nonsense that is the store, now is the time to try out Dollar Shave Club. For a limited time, Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their starter set to new members. For only five bucks, you get the executive razor, three trial size versions that are most popular things, some blades, you'll enjoy yourself. In your first box, you'll receive their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. I am not making this stuff up, along with the razor. And that premium weighty handle that so many likes, the cassette full of cartridges. And after the first box, replacement cartridges are just a few bucks a month. This offer is exclusively available at dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. What else are you going to shave with? A shoe? Matt. Yeah. What's your topic? My topic is Movie Pass. All right. Ooh. Movie Pass. Yeah. Movie Pass. So I know this was in the headlines, was it like two weeks ago? Yeah, two, three story. weeks ago. They dropped right. the price down right. from 30 bucks to 10 bucks. Yeah, it was like it started out at like 50 bucks. And um, I just kind of wanted to go over is it too good to be true? So can you catch us up on what exactly it is and yeah. what it does and doesn't have? Right. Okay. So Movie Pass, like like we said, it started. It was a it was a company started by one of the Netflix co-founders, um, and he started this. It it used to be like fifty dollars a month, I think it was something like that, and where you could get a movie ticket free per day if you pay fifty bucks a month. Okay. And so recently they dropped the price down to nine ninety five. Now the whole process a of month. it nine ninety five a month for a okay. movie ticket okay. every single day to theoretically see unlimited movies. Basically. You could see one a day. You, yeah, you could see one a day. But what are the restrictions? No new releases. Or still, I got the dollar so, theater. So, where no, are you no, getting? No, 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 no. So so oh, here so here are the I got kind of got some notes in. Give here. me the notes. Give me the high. The top so just so just items. how it works is it's an app. And so you go on the app and you say, I want to see, you know, it's uh, Spider-Man or Wonder mm -hmm. Woman at seven o'clock. And so you go on the app. You have to be within, I think, like 100 feet of a theater yep. or something like that. Weird. And yeah, so you have to be in the vicinity of the okay. theater and you say, OK, Spider-Man, seven o'clock. And then they also send you a debit card. It's a movie pass debit card. And so you pick your movie. Then it's whatever the ticket price is, $12 or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Let's just say a random price. So then you walk up to the counter and say, I'd like to see Spider-Man at seven o'clock. Like, okay, that's $12. And then you give them the movie pass debit card and it already has the $12 loaded on. They swipe it and you're on your way. Now, the only restrictions is that it doesn't work at like special theaters, like an Alamo draft house sure. or, you know, it does work it, at our Alamo. It does. House. Yeah. I don't, I, I didn't know you, that it was all of them. You can't go to IMAX or 3D. Yeah. You, well, you can go to IMAX or 3D. You just have to pay the upcharge. Oh. Of you know, so if it's sixteen dollars, mm, you just sure, have to pay the sure. four dollar difference, whatever it is. Um, so that's kind of what the restrictions are. I don't know how it works for advanced. Like if you wanted, so if like Thor tickets go on sale, you know, in a couple weeks or whatever, and if right, you want to see point, that, if point. you want to see that first movie, I don't know how that works. I don't think it does work. Yeah, that. I don't think yeah. it does. It's it's just, you have to be a hundred feet in front. Right, of Right, you'd theater. have to just like camp out in front of the <laughs> right. theater waiting to get it. I don't know. Um, so I guess so. The question is about Movie Pass. Is you know. It's it's ten bucks a month, but that's obviously not sustainable as a business model. No. And so they're clearly, yeah, they're clearly trying to corner the market, similar to like what Amazon has done or Netflix. Right, or like has done, yeah, like a Netflix like blockbuster. Gonna, we're just going to take a loss for five years until we own this market. Right, and then it's boom. Smart. The question that I have is, what's that really going to? What's that market going to look like? Because what it sounds like they're trying to do to me is make a lot of money on a dying medium. And by dying, I hate to say that because I love movie theaters, but right. every time you go to a movie theater these days, like I just started going back to the Kabuki after AMC bought them, and it is like, I mean, there's literally just like spots on the wall. It looks like they just tore shit down. Like no, they're not even trying to make this a premiere theater anymore. No. Now it's just, hey, we show movies here, and it's a bargain bin basically. But I mean, that's the thing with theaters right now, right? Where it's like, 
you know, Kevin still loves the Daily City. What is that one, Kevin? Century Kev? twenty. Century, Century twenty, 20 yeah. or whatever. What I mean, like it's fine, and they have they have assigned seating now too. I won't. I don't want to go to a movie if it's not assigned seating, right? Yeah. I don't want it unless it is the boutique in quotes. Yeah. I get a lounger. I get to pick a seat. Is, I get there. That is now, I think, the majority of yeah, theaters. Most theaters. Well, that's yeah, the, most that's how the, I'm, that. and that's the argument I'm making. Where I think I don't know if it's dying as much as just truncating, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Well, you still have that for a while. Yeah, I, I just, don't get me wrong. I wish it would go away. Well, I wish it would fucking well, all just go. Hey, well. Spider Man's out today in theaters or on your, you know, PlayStation Four or whatever. Well, that's that's the more interesting of these. I'm like, do I like part of the reason why this has not really registered on my radar is because, um, well, for one, Tim hasn't told me I need to worry about it yet. So as soon as Tim figures it out, that means I'm way behind the curve, and then I need to start doing it. Um, but it, a, it just seems like it seemed like. Before you had read all those things, I'm like, there's going to be something in there that's going right. to be too too much of a pain in the ass to deal with. And the fact that you have to be close to a theater and or you can't get the tickets you want when you want, right. that that's that's a deal breaker for me. Having said that, I will continue to like keep an eye on this. And once it is just as easy as I open an app on open my phone, hit, hit the thing I want, and the QRC, you know, the ticket code comes up. And that's it, and it's just right there. Cool. Then I'll go to the theater, but I want to be able to do that two weeks ahead of time, and, and what, with right. my wife. Right. You know? What is the rationale behind the be with the 100 feet of a theater? Well, I'm sure that's just to to, to limit people from reserving tickets and then not using them. Yeah. Like, yeah. The idea. Oh, uh, because you don't right, pay with yeah, the debit card until you get there. Yeah, I, I see. think right. the audience for this is not people like us that are like, oh, we need to be there for Thor's premiere. Mm -hmm. It's for right. people like high school kids or for old people or mm -hmm. the people that it's, are it's, just like, I'm at the mall. I guess I'll watch a movie. Right. Right. The, I've it, never been that way, but it's I think to a get lot the people, people who don't go to a lot of movies, like all of us. I would sure. imagine go to you know we see you. I know you see a lot of movies. Yeah, you know, so it's the people three who or four right, movies a month, right. So. so it's it's not it's not for those people. It's for the people who like oh you know it'd be a nice time. Let's go. Let's all go out to the mm -hmm. theater. Like you know, people <laughs> who are. But I just feel like those people like you're talking about people like I guess. I, there's a variety of different types of people that go see movies, but like I think of okay, who's your target audience? The people that have the families, right? Families with like five or six kids. You gotta have five of those accounts. Yeah, you with. have to have five accounts. How is that gonna work, right? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, to me. it's not. It's not. I, so I don't think it's families. I think that it's it would be couples you think it's or the kids. college kids, you think it's yeah. the eighteen to twenty-five year old, high like, school kids. Yeah, it's it's so maybe it's, but even, from my point of view, it's people at malls. They are the even this. Audience. I feel like so. I feel like right now I wouldn't do it because I don't like these hoops. 100 feet, can't just do it all online. Yeah. Why not just give me in the app the debit it card there? It needs to be go. as easy as Fandango. Shh, Fandango exactly. has an app. You pop it open. You find your theater. You go, boom. It says, is this the credit card you want to use? Great. For Bomb, being done. a college kid, high school kid, whoever, eh, maybe. I feel like the first time we got burned when we all, like, we used to go to AMC Cantera, like, every weekend to go see a movie we are in high school, right? The first time we would have gone there and be like, we're all going to see this. And, like, four, four of the five of us got in or something weird like that. to be like, oh, well, fuck this. What a stupid system. Like mm -hmm. I want to be able to make sure we're all. I don't. Yeah. I don't like that tension. It's because then we're back either. to the same tension yeah. of like why I don't like fucking waiting in line for three hours to hope that I get the seat I want. In a and, movie and it's and it's the reason why movie theaters will eventually not exist. Like, right on this on this bigger scale. I mean they've been diminishing for probably the last ten years, but eventually twenty years from now, the, it will be a boutique experience similar to the Alamo Draft House, but it won't be the preferred medium. Right. Mm -hmm. What right. you're talking about is even that little bit of like Thor's coming out. In a month, fuck. One of us needs to figure out how to get everyone tickets. How many tickets are we gonna get? I don't know who's gonna come. Is Giga coming? I don't know. Get an extra ticket for her just in case. Uh, now it's like stress. They're stressed, right? Like, is Nick? Is your wife gonna come? No, she doesn't leave the house after six o'clock. Um, <laughs> but like, all of that is the reason why eventually there will have to be some other system that takes its place. And I don't think it's gonna be on demand. I think it's gonna be similar to whatever that thing is that you can get now or used to be able to get, where it's like you spend thousands of dollars. And it's a box that sits in your living room, and they just everything that's new just goes straight to you. Apparently, that's a thing. Have you guys heard of this? I've heard of it, but yeah. I, I don't remember yeah. anymore. I don't know if it's actually you know what it's something called. People yeah. No, I, don't, I, I just heard of it. But yeah, it was ex obscenely expensive. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I remember right. hearing about it years ago. It was like fifty thousand dollars or something like that. Or something like yeah, that. something Green like that. Flex, yeah. But of course, yeah. I'm sure that has plenty of like restrictions and shit on right. it too. Where it's like you can't yeah. get every movie you want. That's right. like, that's always the shitty thing, right? It's always the shitty thing about buying like the Disney Pass, right? Where like there's always blackout dates, and nobody likes the blackout dates. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, those I mean, are that's fucking thing, the most premium one, and that's how they get you on this. Right, thing. exactly. I think that the, the narrative about theaters diminishing and going away, I think that people like us wa want to believe that more than it's actually true. Like when you look at the, the just the sheer numbers, there's more money coming in, and granted, tickets are more expensive and all that. It doesn't matter. There's more money coming in, mm -hmm. right? The when it, when you add 3D, when you add IMAX, when you add all these other upcharges, like every week a movie is breaking records for whatever's coming mm -hmm. out. I look at any market that I've been familiar with, whether it's Austin or San Francisco or New York, those are probably the three that I'm most intimately 
uh, have with, knowledge of. Yeah. Like there are more theaters now than there's ever been in my entire time growing up in San Francisco. I've seen two theaters close. I've seen six come up, right? And none of them have. They've only gotten bigger. They've only had more options and more things going mm -hmm. on in them. So it's like, I feel like Netflix and all that stuff has kind of shifted our perspective and like we're like, oh, well, here's how we want things. But I think that the mainstream consumer isn't worrying about any of that stuff. Well, sure. I and mean, it does, it does give people families, things like that, outings, things to do, right? This, people do still need stuff to do and people do want to get out of the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know, that? I know that AMC, because uh, along with this article, when this news hit, AMC, like the next day, you know, they came out saying that we're against this. You know, AMC is strictly but they, against but this. They can't pull out of it. Like, they, it well, seems they can't. Like and, and and here's the thing. So what they're what what AMC is arguing is that it's going to change the movie industry for the worse. They feel because if so, if you think about it from AMC's perspective, yeah, if chains always say shit like this. Well, they yeah. say the same thing when it, when when Netflix is like, yo, we're just going to start making movies indirectly, and people, well, you can't do that. Like the biggest the, the big shit between Netflix and Amazon and movie theaters is that Netflix wants to do day and day right. releases, right? And they want to put them in theaters people want and the movie theaters are like no we don't want you to yeah do that. And i'm, I'm and not like, fuck I'm you not, guess what we're gonna win i'm, I'm not saying they're yeah, yeah. they're in the right i mean right. obviously it's it's a dying it's a dying industry but what amc is arguing is that you know they have this 9.95 for a month for a whole year that's that's what movie pass has set their price they're like we're gonna have this price for a year but amc is worried about is that oh all these people are gonna sign up and when it fails when it probably will because it's just not mm -hmm. a sustainable price point is you know, no one's going to go to the movie theater anymore because no one's going to want to pay a $12 ticket anymore. So that's what AMC mm. is arguing is that, well, they just paid $9 a month to see every kind of movie, but now they don't want to go to the theater to see a $12 ticket. Mm. You know, so they're arguing that it's just going to shift the whole dynamic sure. of it. And so the whole, huh. and so what, what the biggest picture is, well, it's obvious that this has to be too good to be true because, you know, it's a, how can you? How can a company survive by practically losing money, like yeah, you had said? Yeah. And so, what's behind that is, right before this happened, a data analytics company called Helios and Matheson. They're a data mining company. Mm -hmm. They bought like fifty-one percent of Movie Pass. And so, a, a theory is that what they're going to do is now they have data on everyone who's buying movie tickets. Mm -hmm. You know what time you're going, when you're going, what movies you're going to see on what day. Household income. Right. Yeah. Who's, theater, who's blah, blah. buying tickets, where, in what region of the country. And what they're probably going to do is gather it all up and say, hey, Disney, hey, Fox, hey, Warner Brothers, how much do you want for this information sure. to where you can market, when you should release movies, when, where, you know, all that sure. kind of stuff. I mean, and like, I think that's... Doesn't Fandango do that, though? Like, doesn't Fandango know everything about you? Aren't there already places out there that have that information? True, but well, I, that's also more representative of actual moviegoers, yeah. not just the people that are subscribing for this type of pass. So, right? but, but, your, but your argument, or the but argument I mean, these theaters are making is that this is just a play for the information to sell. And right. But you figure, too, that like based on what we're talking about of what this is, this is different information than Fandango, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm Fandango, I would do this all the time, but we're saying this pass is for people who aren't motivated to go see movies. Right, these are these, yeah, these are the people who who don't use Fandango. What, what MoviePass is trying to do, like we, what we were talking about before, is it's not for the Fandango people, because if people use Fandango, they'd be using it all the time, but obviously there are people who don't use Fandango. Dango. And so I guess this is trying to reach those people, but I, I don't, I don't know who those people are. You yeah, know, if, yeah. you, if, you know, so if, if they're trying to reach an audience of people that don't normally go to the movies, I mean, then those studios can then go. The thing you know, is like what this, this kind of reminds me of a little bit. And it is the same reaction I had when uh, I think it was Nate Ahern was the first person I remember hearing. And he was like, hey, man, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to a blockbuster or something like that and get a TV. He's like, why are you doing that, man? There's this new thing called Netflix mm, and you just yep. sign up for it and they send you a DVD and it takes like four or five days to get to you. Yep. And then you have to remember to send it back. And I was like, that sounds horrible. That I, sounds terrible. Yeah, that can't be right, though. Nate, I remember you met him at IGN, right? Yeah, but Nate worked there like. Yeah, but I was using Netflix ago. 2001, 2002. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Netflix didn't become relevant 
in my life oh, really? at all to anybody until like 2007, 2007 yeah, yeah. I, well it's when they got close to going digital that or I remember everybody was well I just remember and I mean, that's was, what I'm saying right it was so like about, three four years maybe it wasn't eight I don't know but sorry but, I was the, just trying yeah. to give a time frame to the point was d- during my t- my early tenure at IGN that's when people I started seeing the the, the DVDs pop up on people's uh Desks, uh, desks yeah, or yeah, their console tables the ma- or their homes, the, right? Yeah, exactly. And those little, the little hey, the let's slider send things. Send them yeah. back, yeah, yeah. And I remember seeing that. I'm like, God, that's what, like, that's one extra step. Like, I already can't take back the Blockbuster videos. And, I, and I'm like, but I guess that's, I guess it's easier just to drop that in the mail, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, ah, oh, it's a pain in the ass. I got to go online. And then there's some, some of the, the DVDs, remember, you couldn't get. You'd have to pre, like, order yeah, them. And they're like, yeah, well, yeah. this is not available. And I'm like, oh, right. I just go to the Blockbuster the right list. there, right? And so, like, that's just me. That speaks to my psyche of, like, I am... I am I am a late adapter adopter of everything. I didn't have a fucking iPhone until like <laughs> iPhone four, right? I I just I will not. I'm always a wait and see kind of person. Right. I want this to succeed. I want new technologies like this to come in and revitalize the theater industry yeah. because I think it needs it. I still stand by the fact that the best experience for Thor Ragnarok is going to be it's all gonna of be us going to a theater, a theater and seeing it together. And then maybe Greg goes fucking aggro like he's done the last two times we've gotten to see movies on someone, right? <laughs> the last it's two times. Fun. I made one of those up. Hey, but guys. One, the, one, the, first, the one time was so intense that I was like, Doctor I'm, Strange, I'm yeah. scared of you forever. I'll fuck that kid up. Don't I, worry. I'm it was like an the... adult male. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, sir, that is rude. You're like, wait, No, no, he went, put seriously? I'm like, yeah, put your fucking phone yeah, away and don't tweet during the movie. And I thought you'd have my back, but you threw I me under the bus immediately. I was about to wear a naked chuck that motherfucker Jesus and both of us go to jail for assault. Hey, guys, I was going to You have it. I'm on the same boat as Nick where, like, I really want this to work, but on the opposite side where, like, I signed up for it last week. Did you? weekend, yeah. Unfortunately, some of the bad things is it doesn't seem like it's scaling well with all the people because, like, you sign up for it and, like, you get the app and it's really, really fucking broken. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, yeah. like, you have to wait for the card to come in, but you can get e-tickets. So it's, oh. like, and, for like, every once in a while when I go to look at the, the, the card they're supposed to send you, I have the last four digits, so yeah. I entered it. But it won't let me print out. Like it won't let me buy this. So this is what I'm talking about. Can I see the app? Do you have the app right now? So you can on your way over here. Can you open the window? Every every other time it doesn't work though. That's the kind of shit that I don't like, right? And that's why I'm a late adopter of everything. I want the technology when it's perfect, when it's so fucking good that Tim's like, "Why are you not on this? Why don't you use Venmo?" Until we start using it, never will. And now I use Venmo. Venmo is a good example though. There's been so many apps like that of paying money and stuff, and I. There must have been good ones, but Venmo is the one that really connected with people where it's like, it's ubiquitous now. See, for me, PayPal was that, but everyone's like, nah, Venmo's better. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, PayPal's so the internet stuff. version. Right. And yeah, you can use PayPal on your phone. Yeah, you still can. Yeah. But you Venmo is that app. Theater, so to me, if you just said, Nick, use Venmo two, three years ago, how would I have reacted? You would have not done it. Go ahead, check I it. I mean, how bad, how badly oh, yeah. broken was Venmo two years ago? Oh, I don't think, it, did it exist? But I don't know. I don't even know, see? It's gonna be that easy. Interesting. This seems like it's, we said 100 feet, right? Yeah, Well, this is 100 meters. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, what? I mean, that's 300 feet. It's not that much. Of a but I mean, like right now, we're getting Alamo Draft House no, downtown. No, it, it'll show you. You just can't book them. You unless just can't you book any of the guys. Uh, copy that. And mm. I'm not entirely sure. I think oh. some places that have e ticketing will let you book them early. The only problem is there is no. Yeah, see that those don't actually those aren't buttons. Now, Andy uh, Cortez. Uh, Wait, are they buttons in. or are they just logos? No, they're, they're I don't know if that's because he's bored logos, or he wants to say something. I don't know what's, uh, what they mean. You got your loyalty yeah. programs in here? I don't know. Over no, here, big old Andy Cortez. Only has one we should definitely not talk over each other, though. <laughs> well, I mean, we're talking about the app. Let me tell you about my problem with Postmates. What? Jesus, God. <laughs> what right. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Andy. That's cool. Andy Cortez, everybody. Just a, <laughs> What's your problem with I had my first Postmates experience last night. Oh, God. They, we order four Chinese, like, entrees, right? Sure. They send one correct one, three are incorrect, right? Could be the restaurant's fault, right? Doesn't have to be the person from Postmates. No, it's probably Postmates. Well, it's probably Postmates. Either way, Postmates, though, did they put the order? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, right? So they said, you know, we, broccoli beef is the only thing that came correctly. Oh, that's good. There was no steamed rice. There was no oh, Kung Pao chicken. That's... There was nothing that we ordered, right? So email them, took a picture of the stuff that sent that they sent us. I was like, hey, uh, you sent us all this wrong shit. And they're like, all right, we'll give you the money for the stuff that we didn't send you. And I'm like, okay, cool, but you still sent us stuff that we didn't want. So how about, like, this is my first time using you all. Pretty bad first impression. They're like, yeah, sorry, that's our refund policy. What did you want? You wanted more money or did you want the food for free? The, uh, no, no, they sent us free food, right? Yeah, they yeah, sent yeah. us free food, right? Which is totally cool. But, like, you also inconvenienced us because we didn't get the food that but we fucking... But what did you want? 
like, what do you well, want like, them to so, do? Well, we've gotten the wrong order from Uber Eats before, and Uber Eats is like, hey, we'll comp you the whole fucking thing. Here's a $10 credit. Okay. Here, You know, like, oh, just okay. something. Keep, you know, don't So they gave you your money back sucks. and sent the replacement food or no, no replacement food? No, no food. replacement oh, food. I, you no said we did get free food. food. No, I was just kidding. No, the original like, food. We, we got to keep the food that we didn't want, right? Gotcha, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. How did that turn out, though? Was it good? The free food, the food you didn't want, huh? I mean, no, it's like it was like a soup or something. I was no, like, no, no, I, well, no, no. It, no. It seems like such a good idea, but every time I do it, at the end, I'm always like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm never gonna do it again. But then, a couple weeks hungry, later, but a couple weeks later, I'm like, oh, I don't want to cook right now. See, Seamless so is let's the only look one I on... fuck with because it's not random people just doing random things. It's like these are people dedicated to these restaurants, mm -hmm. and it's still. But aren't the, aren't all the I also I also don't aren't like Seamless either. Things failing. Well, I think the yeah, thing about Seamless that makes yeah. sense is that it's not people paying random other people. It is the restaurant. It's just a way for you to find a bunch of delivery. Places that deliver. Places See, that oh, deliver. so it's actually right. a person who's paid by, like, Amici's to deliver the Amici's pizza. Yes. I love that Amici's pizza. That makes sense. I like Wait, real quick, guys, part. just to go back to the movie pass thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm really excited. Like, I don't know when I'm going to get my card, and if I don't get it this month, I'm not going to be that disappointed. If I don't get it next month, I'm going to cancel it. But um, like I want to I, I want to check in on this. Yeah, after a, after like a month or two of you using it, I want I, you to come back and let's review this thing. I really want to make it a goal to go to the movies at least twice a week. Yeah, because yeah. if you, if you say it's worth thing. it, yeah. I'll try it. I'll yeah. give it a shot. I, I'm trying to get Paula to do it. I want to go with her once a week on Fridays. To the From movies. your house, yeah. can you do it? Because you live close to a theater. Oh no no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> much too far away from okay. the house. Okay. Um, but, but like so, for instance, like here's the thing. Yeah, Thor, no. Right, but I want there's a couple indies in the theater oh, right sure. now that right. I want to see, and I guarantee if I walk up there, I'm gonna be able to get it. You'll ticket. be able to I'm get not gonna worry about getting a pre yeah. right? And I'm still, you know, so I think that's what it could work for, right? There's like Absolutely. Ingrid Goes West, right. there's Patty Cakes, there's these movies that I don't think they're gonna be tuning people in. Tim, I, it's gonna I, be a good I have movie. Such beef with Patty Cakes. I'm telling man. you, it's gonna Why? be a good movie. You love rap. This no, is a rap this movie. Looks so fucking not good. She wants to be a rapper, Tim. Whatever. And you should support that. The thing about this movie pass thing is, to me, it really seems like just business 101. Of all right, here's this Netflix guy that understands, mm -hmm. you know, how Dominating to look the, at a community and how mm -hmm. to dominate a, a vertical market share. And, and market share and all that stuff. But what it comes Synergy. down to, it's a numbers game of looking at it and just being like, how are they making money or whatever? Right. It's, they obviously, and especially if they're working with the data, data mining company, people, yeah, right. they understand that if 100,000 people sign up and actively use it, and they're gonna lose money because they're only paying $10 to watch, what? What would an active user I, do? I'd say at least two movies, it doesn't matter, you're still losing money. A month. Right. right, yeah, right. but let's say even say once a week, four movies uh, a month, right? So they're losing that much money. They must have a guarantee that they're making enough money off the people that forget they signed up mm -hmm. and are just gonna mm -hmm. keep oh, coming I'm sure back. There's that. Well, yeah, there's that. I, that I'm, but I'm sure that is a big enough percentage that they're profitable from this. And it might not be hella, uh, but it's enough to I keep it. I don't think it's we, that. I think it's the same model that the guy probably used when he started Netflix, which was, hey, we're just gonna start and take a huge loss until we put blockbusters out of business, and that what well, that's what happened. But I mean, that's what I'm saying though. Yeah. I feel like that that's where you, you yeah, start. Yeah. But and I guarantee that like investors, they probably still, have a five ten. I, plan. Still good. I imagine that that they're plan is to get enough people where they can dictate the prices of the right. movie tickets and lower it for themselves. Well, I don't I don't I don't know about that. I think I think what their plan might be is that it's 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 probably dying and it's not profitable, not profitable, but it's just they want it to be so popular. Like everyone's using it. You know, everyone's using Movie Pass to buy their tickets now, but they just can't, but they're not quite there yet being profitable. But then I think they go to the each movie theater chain and say, Hey, let's 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 strike up a deal. Yep, you know, exactly, let's work together. You know, you cut us in on sure. some of your profits, give us some of that and we'll and we'll Well that's the thing too I because totally you don't agree. I think it's the opposite side. I think that this is a I think that they're like, yo, we can make money off of this. See, I know Let's the, do it. the weird thing is you have to understand how movie movie theaters themselves make money, and it's not off the tickets. They take a big loss in the concessions. Right. It's, it's the all concessions. concessions. So it's a it's a matter of just getting butts in the seats, which is why it might actually this might actually be a viable plan for these people. It is about volume at that point. It's a volume play. It's not you know. So they need a ton of people, and this is how you do it. You got to operate at a loss until you get that, that right. big base of users, and then pff, you're ready. To it's rock a and fascinating roll. thing. If I, it's very much like well, we talked about uh, Game Stops and EBs, like a new program of like you know, or the Australian one, the one they're doing out in uh, Philadelphia, I believe, uh, of you know. 10 bucks a month you get unlimited used games come in trade them and trade them out and how I did that at Blockbuster back in the day four movies and four yeah, games yeah, I remember that just didn't take the movies back and it was that thing where as if if I if you know I granted I know summer's just ended but if it was summer and I was a se you know junior senior year of high school or whatever waiting for whatever's next I would totally do this and go in the middle of the day me and my friends get uh, all your friends get sure. this and every yeah. week you go to a yeah. Friday noon movie or whatever I think it's a great concept I think it's the same thing we talk about when we talk about comics right where it's like wouldn't it yeah. be so much fucking easier to pay 
get ten bucks and get every goddamn Marvel comic you possibly could get. It's just but that, there's restrictions on that too, and it's super. The thing about this one for me is just that I don't live super close to a theater. So yeah, if I'm going, if I, right now going to a theater right. is a cool, I, I like going to the theaters because we go to the good ones now. Mm -hmm. And because honestly, just about I mean, to be fair, the only ones are the good ones. Go great, yeah. And that's yeah. the thing, right? Of like, if I'm going to go to the Alamo, it's for a date night. It's for a movie I really want to see. Mm -hmm. And it's already, you know, across town. You're from stopping off that bull and bear and you're getting a little like old fashioned. <laughs> you got damn right. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, get in there. Maybe get that pizza popcorn. port they got. I like that one a lot. Go in there, watch it. But it's like, that's such an excursion that I'm never going to make that giant trek to be like, all right, let's hope they got the seat I want or whatever. Right. But just the, the thing is, we have on. a movie theater a mile north and one mile south. Yeah, so we've we gone there zero theaters. times. Yeah, that, that's true. But like now, that if we have a movie pass, I could see us all being like, oh, yeah, fuck it. Let's yeah, go. Let's just go. I, I've not? wanted to see movies yeah. there before. Yep. I like seeing movies. See, I'm, I, I love the nostalgia oh, of seeing movies in a world. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I wish I wish we lived in that world. I just don't think we live in that world. I don't think we, we do can't even all I, get our shit together to go to dinner with him tonight. Well, we can't I, all I, play video games know, at night. And I, wonder, like, and I wonder how many people actually do still live in that world. That'll be the most fascinating thing. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 Just to put a bookend on this, please do. Um, sir. I thought By it was way, interesting. You're killing this topic. This is great. You hey, came very you. prepared. Much better happy. than thank the Starbucks you. topic, right? <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> I well, didn't have I didn't have much input on that. I think that's why. Does Hunter Pence healthy. go out there and hit a home run every time? I don't know. I don't watch I don't baseball. Know, I don't watch baseball. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ask me for real because I'd have to Google that. Uh, just to uh, when I was looking up stuff, I thought it was pretty interesting of how you know, we talk about Netflix and Blockbuster and how Netflix overcame Blockbuster, but when they were competing with each other, Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy out Netflix yep. mm. and they passed on it. And so what I found interesting was that. Way back when, when Movie Pass was doing a pilot program, they were able to do it with AMC, mm. and AMC passed on it. Mm. And so I'm just, I just thought it was kind what of would be, that would be interesting. I just what would be of. interesting, right, is if you take it internal. If if AMC is like, all right, we got to fight fire with fire. Right. Let's right. do it. We'll do it at this That's price, and it will very be very interesting. Let's book it on the spot. Let's right. do this. It's a reward program. Maybe the tickets cost more, but sure. buy a little bit. It is a you can't see it the first week it's out kind of thing, right? Mm. Where it's like, hey, you can see Thor Ragnarok, but, but you, you have, have to the wait subscription, but you got to wait two weeks. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking the opposite, where they're like, you, if you're gonna see, if you promise to see every movie here, not promise, but you know what I mean. Right. Ten bucks, you can get them. And it, everywhere it's the opposite of this don't be close as soon as you hit what because that's my thing is i feel like they could get around it if amc makes its own app which they already have but they have this com slash amc you can get it a week early <laughs> exactly but i mean in their app they're like i want to see thor and i want to see it on launch night i mm. click it i do it boom and i pay right there i all right i, I, well, you I your see there but then the problem becomes well, i'm caught up now show. but happens if I'm 30 caught people up don't show up to right. Theater, right there has to be some level of penalty there you're right you're and, right, and you're especially right, nowadays right. when everyone's looking forward to the the first weekend it's out that's where all like the you're headlines right. are right. Of, i overlook these guys do that stuff it just didn't take off AMC has its own program. Well, they have a reward program, right? Yeah. No, what's the other one? Cinemark. There's AMC and Cinemark, yeah. They, they've tried, like, two years ago, they tried doing these movie pass things. It wasn't $10 a month. Interesting. But it was, there was things that you can, you get, you get it per month, and you can see movies, and yeah, there was random little restrictions. I'm just saying this. Here's, here's the future I Lay it on me. Lay the and future on me. Because I do love movie theaters. I do. But there are 90% of the movies I just like patty cakes right now. I would love to watch that when I go home. When Disney, you know, Disney launched their own app. You know, they got their own streaming service that it isn't going to yep. do is all this Disney stuff. How far off are we from it just being the new Star Wars comes out, boom, it's there on I that think, Disney streaming service? I think service. we are very far. I know, but I want it to be closer. So. Yeah. I want it no, to be closer. That's, no, that's what I'm saying. How far are we from it being on a Virgin America seat day one? Even far. I mean, that's the thing. If we can, <laughs> no, if we can, like, let's, be, let's all be honest. And I have to be honest about this, too. And it sucks for me to say. It fucking sucks. Because, like, movie theaters to me are like church. I love going in. It's so sad yeah. now that I, when, I, but when I'm leaving movie theaters, I'll, like, clean up my own shit. Like, before when I was a kid, you just, like, fuck it. You kick the popcorn yeah. over on it. Like, fuck too, you, kids. Weird. Now I'm, like, I'm, like, taking care of these theaters. You, I know you stand up and you put forever. on your AMC vest and start picking <laughs> your Yeah, like, someone, like, someone left the bottle the other day. I was like, I'm going to take the fucking bottle. I'm going to save this kid some time because yeah. this kid, you know, whatever. He's not going to be here forever. Oh, guys. Like, hey, Nick. Yeah. I'm like, what's up? What's up, Norm? And having said that, though, Floor Ragnar comes out. We all go over to watch it on your 80-inch TV. I'm in. No, uh, that's a better. That's no, going to be a better experience for me, probably. I mean, it, it would be better, but it would be better. It's just uh, easier. It's, it's like it's just the people though. I want, and if anyone exactly, has there's a not some fucking asshole checking tweeting, his fucking phone the entire hey, time. Hey, I got some fucking kids hey, on Instagram checking out Jen Settler's butt. No, fuck you, dude. Well, that's you. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see a playlist of other videos. Click here to go to our Patreon page. And click here to go to the Vortex of Darkness. I don't know what it is.